Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, this is The World Away. And we're now going to be doing pack 4, which is stages 15 to 20 of the Agora Models release of Build the Titanic. Now remember this is only available in certain territories, so if you just go to the description here, agoramodels.com, and you'll be able to see if that's available in your territory. But last time we did this, we actually started doing the whole, we've done a few more decks, there's a lot to do in this one as well. But before I uh, go on and start building this, I did get some free gifts for this one, so let me show you what they are. I have to say, I wasn't expecting any free gifts, but look, check that out. Look at all the bits. <laughs> I can use these big time. I have, I've only got a limited set of these bits from all of my other stuff, as you can see there. Uh, this has basically replaced all the missing things that I've got here, but this is gonna be invaluable. And probably best on the side camera. The other thing is, it looks like I've got a tin plate poster it's in this envelope here, which I haven't opened yet. So let's open that, see what that looks like. Oh, oh, we've opened it this way. So I wonder what this could be. Let's uh, hold it up. First time I've seen it, first time you've seen it. Wow, I love that. That looks excellent. And that was, uh, the second freebie that was in this box here. So we're on pack four now, and that's what we're gonna be completing today. And that starts with stage 15. So without further ado, let's get cracking. So this is stage 15. And as you can see, each stage uh, comes with its own magazine. All the magazines are in the box here. So I'll just keep turning here. And this is what we're starting on. So we're gonna do a section of the hole here. Uh, it looks like we've got to put some details in one of the decks that we worked on previously and then screw this whole part together. So at the end, it looks just like that. So the first thing we want is the officer's deck quarters that we we're working on in the last pack. That looks just like this. And we also want stage 15 parts. And you can also tell what number parts they are. They're just on the last few digits of that number there. Let's get this open. These are all the parts here, including the Allen key, which doubles up by the look of it. It's a Phillips head screwdriver, as you can see there. Another little freebie, I'm guessing. Put some glue just on this uh, little bit of plastic here. Looks like this is the last of the glue I've got in uh, this little pot. And we're gonna put these lifeboats in. So one's just gonna go in here, just on these little elevated sections here. And the other one's gonna go in that way, just like that. So, got me a little, uh, gluing device which is just an Archimedes drill of a pin in the end what I'm going to do is just put some glue just on these brackets here as you, can, as you can see I'm not putting too much on here just enough to keep that into place and then put the first lifeboat in and you just want to make sure that they're symmetrical each side and there you go, they're both on. We can put that to one side. I'm just gonna move that glue out of the way because I don't want that sticking to anything else. We're gonna work on the whole pieces. We do have this little detail here. We're not actually using that at the moment. And I'm gonna bring over the whole piece that we were working on in the last pack. And I've also got the kill piece here that we hadn't installed last time, but this time we will be. And it's quite simple. We're just gonna have these two sections here going above those two points. And they're going to be held in with IM screws. I don't know if you can see on the side camera, I've just used the little stand that it came with in the last pack as well. So that'll just keep that held up, right? While I get these screws out. Now the IM screws came in the previous pack. So you should have saved those. These are flange screws. Now I am using my PH1 screwdriver because... Uh, we do want to make sure that these are in really tight. So I have put them in some oil and I'll get these in. That's excellent. And now we're going to be putting this side piece of the keel on. Just turning it over. It's going to be fitting on this side just here. So put it on the tabs at the bottom first so it rests nicely and then slot it into the side. Get this on. As you can see, that's on like that. And then in this pack, we've got some IM screws as well. They look like that here. And I'm going to get this screwed in as well. You just know there's going to be getting to a stage where this is going to be far too big for the workshop. I think when I build this model, I'm going to have to move the orca out the way because uh, I'm going to need that space. 
this is the last one going in here now don't be worried about this section here fitting out we're about to rectify that at the moment with some mm screws now on my build i've got them in this little pack here with another allen key i'm going to put them in oil and just put them gently in these slots here with my screwdriver matter of fact the screwdriver is actually doing quite a good job holding them i don't want to screw it in with this i'm just using them to actually put the screws where they're going to go because obviously these are hexagonal heads then we're going to use the allen key here to actually put these in you know what that took a lot longer than it should do but it's very fiddly getting into there but that's that side on and that is all there is to do in that stage so that leads us on to stage 16 here again I'll just have a quick flick through the magazine till we get to the end and by the look of it on this one we've got some details the first class gym and stairway so we're actually going to be putting another bit of decking on here which does mean i'm going to get some wood glue on here as well uh, and then we're going to be putting some details just on top there so at the end it looks just like that here is stage 16 get all these parts out i'm just looking at this now because this is only a tiny tiny piece of decking i don't think i am going to need to put some wood glue on this the other one being so big it could pull itself up at the side so i'm going to try and get on without it if it does come up then i will have to uh, change this but i am gonna do my own thing here and see how this looks so get this in the trench here and make sure that's down nice and flush to this part here just pressing it in every single location it's looking good and we have another deck in place and the first thing we need is the swan net vent looking just like that that's just going to go down these two holes here so i'm just going to line that up and push that in i haven't glued mine because that's going to sit quite tightly in there just like that we've got another little vent here looking like that they are different these are they've got different bases to them uh, you can always tell because on this one which we're about to put in this side of the vent here should be facing the swan net vent we put in so when we put it in it looks just like that and talking of the other one <laughs> it's uh got a larger lug at the front so even though it does still face the same way as the other one it obviously couldn't go into that one there so i'm just going to get this one in excellent again i haven't glued mine uh they do peg in and let's see they do hold themselves as well no problems at all but they're both in and we do have the ventilator hood here looking just like that we're not actually using that in that stage because that is all there is to do in this stage so in stage 17 i'm just going to turn straight to the back now see what we're going to be doing oh we're going to be doing the second funnel we've done this before hopefully i can remember what we're doing so by the end of it it's going to look just like that if you remember i put some masking tape over the original one but that's the first funnel that we created looking like that that's exactly what we're going to be creating now and that all starts with taking these tiny sections out here there is a smoker for these you see so they are going to be uh smoking that's why we've got this filter tip here and the first thing i do is push this spring just into the bottom of this I keep calling it a filter tip it does look like a filter tip from a cigarette so that sits perfectly at the bottom like that. I'm going to take this little section here and we're going to push that into the top. So now spring loaded. Let's put that to one side because we're now going to affix uh, the sheaf looking like that over the main section of the funnel. Just like this. And it's going to be held in with some DP screws in certain holes here. Let me get those open. I am using my tiny screwdriver for these because these are really tiny line up this end here first with the slot in it and we're actually just going to be putting one screw in just this section here one just before this notch in the middle here so it's going to go in this one just here and then finally just one at the end so that looks like that we're just going to repeat that on the other side 
So this is the last one going in here. Nice and tight. And when it's finished, it should look like that. You've got these bits left over, but that is all there is to do in that stage. So in stage 18 here, again, I'm just gonna turn all the way to the back. And as you can see here, we're gonna be working on the dome over the first class stairwell. This is quite an iconic feature here that we're actually gonna be putting in. Putting the dome in so it's looking just like that. And then by the end of it, that's what we're left with. So we do have another bit of the kill section here as well. And this is the iconic dome section and skylight there. Look, check those out, they're really detailed, I love that. So we're gonna bring over this deck that we're working on the start here and the dome is just gonna be going into this section just here. Just gonna see how this sits in. Sits in like that, again, it holds itself in, no problems on there. So that looks just like that. Now over the top of that, we've got this skylight here. That's gonna be fitting onto this section just there. Now they don't want us to put this or glue this into place at the moment. So what I'm gonna do, just put a little bit of uh, masking tape over the top of that so I don't lose that piece. Which I have got here. I'm not being very tidy about it at all. My sole purpose is to actually just make sure that, that holds that in so it's not going anywhere. We could put all that to one side. We're gonna be fitting this uh, whole piece on now. We're gonna be continuing what we've just done here. So this is gonna be going into that section here, but just like last time, we've got some little tabs down here which are gonna go into the side. So it's best to offer it from the side and then push it up like that so it fits flush there. In these holes just here, it's gonna be held in with IM screws. Now I've still got some of them left over from the previous stages, so I'll use those ones first. And there you go, I've got that tightened up as fast as I can on this side. This is what it's looking like here, but once again, we've got two holes just here, hopefully you can see that on the close-up camera, which are gonna require MM screws and the Allen keys to keep them parts together. So this is gonna be a little bit fiddly. <laughs> I've got my Allen key here, which comes with it. It's not to do with uh, getting these parts in, it's more how fiddly it is. I mean, at the moment, as you can see, I, I can use the full length of the Allen key, so it's quite easy to put this one in. The one underneath, not so much, because this one is further in here. So for that reason, I will try. I can start it off this way, but to tighten that, I'm gonna to have to use the other end. You're not gonna get an electric one in here unless you've got a right angled side on it. Now you do wanna make sure these are in fairly tight because you don't want any ridge lines on the side. You don't wanna really be able to see that. So they're in pretty tight and that is what that's looking like. Pretty clean, you see? One more thing to put in and that is a AM screw, which I've got here looking like that. Put it in a bit of oil. And we're just gonna secure that into this hole here. That will keep the top part down. And again, make that tight. So I am using my larger screwdriver here. That will fix that top rim into place. So that's now looking like that. And that's all there is to do in that stage. So the penultimate stage here, which is stage 19 of this pack, we're gonna be doing the uh, second funnel. And as you can see, lots to do in here, lots of little details. We've got the smoker there, uh, loads of details. So by the end of it, also some deck work there. Both of our funnels are gonna have these details on. So it's gonna look just like that. This is gonna take quite a while this stage, I reckon. So later, everything that we've got here, first thing I need is this smoker unit here. So I'll get this out of here. And I also need the base that came in the last stage. We're just gonna put these parts in here. So when we put this in, which is gonna go in this way round with the wire to the top, that wire is just gonna come out of the notch that we've just got in the side of that detail just there. Now that's gonna be affixed to the top of this section here. So just checking which way around it goes. I don't think it matters which way. So that's affixed there. And we're gonna put some EP screws to hold that into place got them here so that's one two 
and that one there is two. Take this section we had with the spring-loaded sponge now, filter, that's just going to go into the end like this. So it's now a unit like that. Put that to one side and we just want to take the top section here and we're going to be putting this collar on like that. Now this can only fit in a certain way. So I'm just going to get this lined up to put on. If it doesn't fit one way, turn it around, whoops, and try it the other. Just like that. See, should fit perfectly on there. Now this section here is going to be going into the top of the funnel that we made earlier. So again, just line this up and get this in. Just make sure that those holes there match the holes on the side here, pretty much like I did with the first funnel there. And then we're going to be taking this whole section here and I'm going to thread through the wire. I'm going to need my uh, tweezers to help me with that, I think. So there you go. That comes out the bottom. I've got a completed section there. Then I've got the grill, which is going to go over the top, just like last time, into the channels that you can just see at the top there. Just like that. And I am going to put some masking tape just to hold that in again, because they don't want us to uh, glue this at this time. OK, we're now going to start putting some details together for this. So this is what's going to take the time. Everything we do on one, I'm going to do on the other one. So what I'll do is I'll do one first and then we'll rotate that round. So first side we need this side here and we need this piece here this is just going to go into the sides just onto this section here they do want us to put a little bit of glue in here so I do still have my glue from earlier Let's bring that over here and put some glue in these holes this detail we're putting here is just going to stop that top coming off as well and then we'll put this first piece in now when you put it in you want it to be equal distance like that you don't want to push these in too far so then it looks like it's offset or bent keep it straight and I've got a tidy platform here which looks just like that that's just going to go into this section here so we can still have access to the screws it's going to sort of fit on like that again just a little bit of glue this time I'm going to put the glue just on the back here but I'm going to just put a thin glue just onto these two sections here. Just make sure the end of the platform goes in that slot. And that will help you line it up. So that sits in like that. We've got the other steam escaping pipe here, which is just going to go onto this side here through that platform. So once again, I'm just putting glue into these holes here. Here and here be very gentle with how much glue I'm putting on here and again just like the other side put this in and also just being conscious again so it is straight down each side and it's not bent now before we glue the ladder on what we want to do just put some glue just at the top of these pipes here one two and three and I've got this detail here to put on into those holes so just get this in. And again, just make sure that it sits so it's horizontal on there, just like that. There you go. Perfect. Then we're going to put the ladders on. So we're just going to glue the holes either side that are left either side of the... Uh, steam pipe there get the ladder on so that looks like that and that looks absolutely perfect all i've got to do now is do that on the other funnel so that is both of the funnels completed we can put them to one side bring over this deck that we we're working on previously and i need this water pipe which looks just like that the 19h just so you know is, which is the one we're putting in here is very similar to one of the other ones here but it's actually longer so it's the longer one that we want so it's this one here and put that in this way now they don't want me to glue this at this stage but the pipe does lean towards the stern they are very much aware of that so it looks like that 
we're going to put that to one side and we're going to put some more pipes in again we're not using any glue on these so we're going to have 19g which looks like this here it's a smaller one just going into these points here 19k which looks like that one just going into these points here i've got 19i just going into these two little holes here and then 19j just into these two holes here but you know you've got it right if they're all tilting in the same direction like that that's how that one should look and just to remind you that's how the first one looks just there and that is all there is to do in that stage So in the last stage here that we've got, stage 20, as you can see, a few more details to go in. We're going to need that um, cover that we had previously. And we're just going to be putting all of these details into place. Look, we've got a light board here as well, which is quite interesting. It looks like loads to do, actually. So by the end, it's going to look just like that. So I do believe this is our first bit of photo etch part that we've got here. Uh, so I'm going to need to get some of these off. So I need 20H first, which on... This one is this one here. Let's get this one out. Got a sharp knife here. I'm gonna break that bond. Just like that. And do the same on the other side. And I'm gonna be gluing this into this area just here on that part that we had from stage 16. So again, I'm just putting a, a little line of glue just around the outside. I'm glad my uh, glue hasn't set. It has been out for a while. Put this into place. So that looks just like that. I'm going to bring over this section here. Lots of fine details in here, so I don't want to lose anything. Because this, as you can see, has got three prongs on here that are just going to go into that section there. Again, I'm not going to glue this. I want to see how this actually fits first. Do a dry fit and see how tight it's in there. It's very tight, actually. So I'm going to leave that just like that. What I can do afterwards, because it's plastic on plastic, I can actually probably use some of this extra thin cement just around those bits there and there. That will keep those parts in. Now we've got this tiny piece of decking just here. That's going to go onto the other deck that we've been working on here. And as you can see, we've got a vacant area there. That's just going to go in here like that. So again, we can just take the adhesive off here and put that one into place. Just like that. Perfect. Put that to one side because now we're going to be mucking around with some electrics. If you remember, we had our little test board here, which I need to put a couple more AAA batteries in. Excellent. And these are just going to plug into this side here. And as you can see, they light up. No problems at all. So now this is going to go into this deck here. So I'm going to turn it upside down and we're going to have one of the LEDs going through this hole at the top and the other LED going through the hole at the bottom, pushing just at the LED side, not the wire side, just so that goes through. And then when that's in, it should fit quite flush in there, just like that. Now there are tabs to put the circuit board in, so I'm just gonna press that down. One, the tabs are just here, you see? I don't know if you can catch them out. Put the second one in, two, then do the other side. I'm going to show you on the close-up camera how that should be clipped in just like that you also want to push through those leds so they're coming out the top on both sides like that as well so now i can put that to one side and we've got a couple more of these covers to put in now one of them come in stage 14 so i'm having to go back to my box of tricks just to get that out just uh getting it out of this bag of stuff here as you can see, looks just like that. And once again, get these grills into place here. 
So for the smaller one, we're going to be using the one next to this. So I'll just get this one off. And in a similar way, put these in. And then the larger one just for this one. So now they look just like that. I'm going to get these in. So the smaller one here is just going to be going towards this section at the back here. A bit fiddly now to get in. <laughs> Just like that. And then the other one is just going onto this side over here. Again, I haven't glued those, but I think I will just hold them from the bottom where there is plastic on plastic contact here. And let the capillary action just pull that in so I don't have to worry about that falling out. Now we've got these little vents here that I'm going to need to get off. I do want to bend these slightly like a roof. As you can see there, do the same on the other one. I'm bending with the score line, so the, the line that faces up hasn't got a score line on it. Now these are going to go on top of these two sections here. So once again, a little bit of glue. And that's going to hold these into place. Making sure that's lined up good. Put the other one in. Excellent, and that's how that's looking. Lovely detail. I've now got this cowled vent looking like that, which is going to go into the holes just here at the front. So get that all the way in. This ever so tiny piece here, which is just going to go into the hole here, and it's pointing out towards the side of the deck. This is actually an antenna. And in the two holes that we've got left here and here, we've got these swan neck vents here. Get these in. One that side. And one this side. Previously on this stage, I think this came in stage 15, we had this. This came first off. I'm going to put a bit of glue just into the hole at the top here because this is actually going to go into that point there in the end once I've got this in is going to go into this point at the top just there that's how far it actually sits down into the uh, hole here we just want to make sure that it's level as you can see there excellent now that's a ventilation duct uh, according to the instructions now, we're just going to revisit these funnels again, because it wants me to actually take out the inside section here, which I don't think we'll be able to do now. I'm just looking at it. It's uh, it's in, <laughs> but it is a little bit tricky to get out. I don't know if pushing through a screwdriver here is going to help. Oh, it does. Not really. But what they want me to do is they want me to put a band around this wire here. I don't think I'm going to bother to be honest with you because I can't get that section out now but in the future ones I will. Uh, I'll show you a picture on the screen of what they actually want us to do but uh, I don't think I'm going to do that. What I can do is take this extension cable they've got here. I'm just going to plug this into the first funnel which is this one here. Make sure it's round the right way and now this has become K1 this funnel here. What I'm going to do is bring over this deck here and I'm going to put this cable just through the larger opening here. Thread that all the way through. We're, we're down to one camera now. <laughs> just so that can fit on there like that, as you can see. And then we're going to secure that in from the underside with an AP screw. So you can see the holes here. Just one here. In all the way, and then one more on the other side. Now, just taking this top off again because they have gave us a replacement grill, which they said is a better fit than the one we had. It does fit a lot tighter in there, which isn't going to need masking tape now. You see, it holds itself on. But that's all there is to do in that stage. That's all there is to do in that pack. Well, that was fun. Run out of camera time in the end, and that was 32 gigabyte memory cards we used up. Uh, I'm still on my 64 gigs, so that's what we've managed to finish up on. Uh, but we've done 
absolutely loads and it really does look good doesn't it i mean look check that out brilliant okay if once again if you want to get this for yourself and you're in a territory that does this for agora models just check out the agoramodels.com website you can get this all the way from pack one but i really hope you like that video if you did please remember to give me a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed already please remember to subscribe other than that take care